I've been thinking, what would happen if the power grid goes down? Winter is only in a couple of days. Back in 2021, my dad called me and he said, son, this storm is bad. The power is out. We don't know what to do. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we plan to prepare for if the grid goes down or if a winter storm knocks out all the power here in Texas. I started a homestead on land that's been in my family for over 100 years. Thanks my dad and many others for guiding me through this journey. My mission is to live alternatively in the countryside. I've learned so many new skills, like learning how to electricity to the property. I know my great, great grandmother is proud of what I'm doing. Hello? Hey daddy, do you still have your generator? Yeah. Okay, will it, will it work? It should. I wonder what my uncle Raymond is up to right now. Hey, huh? You want one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my uncle, my favorite uncle right here. Hey, you been, what you been eating? I had a peanut too. A peanut? You had more than a peanut. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. All right, Uncle Raymond, you know what this is? It's a machine, like a, a, a one that's running electric. It's a solar generator. Uh -huh. So you can charge it up by the sun, yeah. or you can plug it up on the side right here, and you can actually power your house. Because you remember back in, what, the 2011, there was a snow, snowstorm, right? You see, 2000 and... Two, no, no, not 2000. It was 2000. 2000. 20, uh, 20, 20, but it, it was in 2000 with that all that ass. Remember the lecture went on for a couple, for a couple of weeks? Yes, I guess so. I have a little generator. Well, it can run a lot of things. I had to plug it up at the well mm -hmm. and then plug it up in my house because it's on a different circuit. Okay. So what we're going to do, mm -hmm. we're going to do some tests of this. Feel how heavy it is. That material in there is heavy. Uh-huh, it's a battery. Yeah. Try to lift it. You think you can? Me and you. See how heavy it is? Yeah. It's stout. All right. Look at to be. You can have 120 or 240 plug. Uh -huh. Over here, you can plug in all your 120 devices. And it takes about two and a half hours, three hours to charge it up. You just plug it up in your house. Uh -huh. And you just save this so in case the electricity and everything goes down, uh -huh. you can power basically everything. This one would cost, I say, almost close to $3,000. I know it has to be a good one. Uh huh. This is a good one. If it's gonna furnish a house, it's got to be a lot of votes. <laughs> You're right about that. Got to be a lot of votes. Hold that button down for a couple seconds. Okay. Easy, simple. He's using his electrical razor, but this can power basically everything in your house. Washer, dryer, fridge, everything you can think of that requires electricity. Uh, would you like one of these? Yeah, it's man. Anything like this is worth the money. For someone like you, yeah. this would come in handy if there's no storm. Yeah, yeah. Pull in your house and everything. Yeah. It's no pulling, right, anything. Right. Push the button. Uh -huh. And you got power, just like that. If Uncle agrees and he thinks it's great, I think it's great. I as do well. too. Could you beat me running to that fence? I believe I could. <laughs> I don't think you're good on. But I tell you what, you got to be moving. <laughs> you good. Oh, I can do better than that. You're faster than the anchor solar power. Originally, when we set up our tiny toe that we traveled around the country and we brought it here to our homestead, but we're connected to the grid. I'm wondering if the Anchor Solix can power this entire tiny toe. So if you want to have one of these on your homestead or if you want to travel, you still have power wherever you go. Come along with me. So we have the tiny toe plugged here on the grid. What if we unplugged it? I have this little adapter here. Plug this adapter in like this. It's a regular adapter you can buy at Walmart, Amazon. Plug it in just like that. Boom. This is gonna be 120 volts. And we're gonna plug it into the Anchor Solix. On the side, we have 120 volts up here in 240 max. If I had another type of adapter, I could plug it in the 240 volt. But then we'll also have these 120 volts, 20 amp max on this side. I think that'll be enough power to power everything in here. And if it doesn't power, there's an overcharge protection here that will turn off the whole entire system. Let's give it a try. 
since I've been using this already, it's now at 72% and it also has the temperature here, which tells you the temperature outside. So we're gonna turn the AC output on. So we're gonna go here and turn everything on. At the top of here, it says we're having one day and four hours. Well, the lights are already on and that's just 37 watts. So basically we live in here with lights on for one day, two hours, and 54 minutes on 72%. So if they was charge 100%, that would probably be around two days. We're just gonna start turning things on. So first, the microwave. The microwave is gonna draw a lot of power. We're gonna put a glass of water in here just to do a test. It has started spiking. It went up to three hours or two hours because the microwave is on. The microwave work and also the light work. How about that? I love the app. Living in cold conditions or if you're living in Alaska, we want to take this tiny toe to Alaska. That would be really fun. So the app shows you how many hours you have left. So whenever you plug into something, if there's the output here, the USB outputs, the car ports, and also DC input and AC input. Whenever we plug it up to charge it in the house, you can see that it will start to actually charge and this number will start to go up. This app comes in handy if you're living in like a cold climate or if you don't want to go outside to your garage, you can use the app and see exactly what's going on. And this is the part that I've been really waiting for. We have air conditioning here now and this air conditioning is not going to draw a lot of power, but it's going to draw some power. And I want to see if the anchor can actually power this AC with the lights on as well. Let's try it. Oh. Already blowing cool air. And let's see how much we're using. That can last nine hours on the amount of charge that we have. I'm gonna see if we can turn on the microwave and keep the AC running. One minute. <laughs> Look at there, that's amazing. Hold on, let's turn on the TV. The TV is on. Got YouTube, got everything on there. Let's turn this fan on. We're gonna turn on this mini heater. Everything works. Wow, that's amazing. There's even solar charging available. I have some solar panels here, little mini solar panels. I actually have two of these. And then over here, I have a large solar panel and I have three of those. This is very simple. This comes with a supply cable like this. You plug it in here and you can adjust these you can prop them open or you can lay them on the ground like that. You can recharge your anchor easily with the power of the sun. I'll make sure I take off my shoes. Mm, smells good in here. One thing I love about this, you can move it around real easily. They have this easy toe handle, click down like that, pop up. Then you just move it in to your location. Now, it's time to do a test. So we have our AC unit here. I'm gonna plug that in to the 120 amp max size. That's a big plug. Oh, unless I plug it at the bottom. There we go. Hear that beep? That means it's on. It's plugged up. We're gonna switch over here. We're going to brew some coffee, the fridge, the microwave, and also the Keurig to this heavy duty cord. We're gonna be running it for a few seconds and make sure that everything runs right off of this baby here. I have this heater that we're gonna bring over here. And now for our final test. Mmm, that coffee smells real good. I'm just sitting here thinking about how far technology has come. We can live here on our homestead, be off grid, brew coffee, watch TV, have Wi-Fi, all the luxuries of living in a big city, but we live out here in the woods. Thanks to my anchor, Solix F3800. Alternative living is a lot of work, but the little things make our life sufficient, sustainable, and satisfying. Ugh. With our anchor Solix F3800, we can live in our geodesic dome, being off grid, having 
no utilities if we chose to, if we connected it to the solar power outside, and if we didn't use the microwave and everything all at the same time for hours, we could live here throughout the whole entire year just off that one solar generator. Before I received the Anchor Solix F3800, I had this generator. And this generator I bought for $600 in Florida when Austin and I were traveling in our tiny tub. And it's only worked two times. That's the problem with gas generators. Yeah, they can be okay, but this Anchor Solix F3800, it's reliable, y'all. You just gotta push a button, it's gonna, boom, power up. It can power your off-grid living situation, or if you're traveling on the road, you can take it anywhere you want to. Or if you're powering an entire house, it could be your backup power, because in these times when the weather is unpredictable, there's a lot of storms, a lot of hurricanes, there's a lot of tornadoes, just cold weather where there could be ice storms. And I think that everybody needs some type of backup power. And this baby right here does a job. I mean, I'm sitting on it. This thing is sturdy. It is heavy. It's just solid. It has lithium batteries in it. This is my new best friend, the Anchor Solix F3800. I really appreciate you watching this video. And if you love this video, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and go through all my other videos and watch them as well.